Hey guys, Canadian Simmer here. How you doing? Uh, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another tutorial video. Um, this one's actually for Sims 3. So I'm actually going to go ahead and do a Sims 3 tutorial video on how to make your own custom content paintings. Um, I learned how to do Sims 4 custom content paintings a while ago. Um, if you want to learn how to do that, check out my tutorial on my channel. I will link it in the description so you can have a look. It's very, 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 very easy to do. And I didn't realize how simple Sims 3 custom content pictures were. If I would have learned this ages ago, I would have been making up pictures like you wouldn't believe. But yeah, so um, I figured out how to do it yesterday just because I um, learned how to, I, I learned how to do it because I made a picture for uh, someone in one of my Facebook groups. Uh, so I went online and I found a tutorial and it was pretty good. There was no talking in the tutorial I watched. It was actually pretty quick. So I'm going to go a little bit more in depth with this just to explain a little bit more. So if you want to do your own, you will know how. Um, I use Adobe Photoshop and you will need TSR Workshop. Uh, the most current version would be would be best. So if it's not updated, just give it an update. Uh, okay, so let's get started. You're going to open your TSR Workshop and it's going to look a little bit like this right here. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to create new project and this is going to pop up. Okay. Uh, when this pops up, what we're going to go into is we're going to click on object right here and you're going to hit next. So it's going to take a minute or two to read everything. So now we're going to go to your left hand side and you're going to see the whole list of all the different um, categories and you're going to hit the plus sign next to decor and then everything's going to open up and you're going to want to open up paintings and posters. So once you click on that, they'll all start to pop up. So if you scroll through, you're going to find the frame that you want. Um, you can just go ahead and pick one. As you can see, there's not a lot. I am going to go with, hmm, let's see, I think I'll go with this one. Yeah, let's go with that one. We're going to go, oh no, actually, let's go with this one because I like the color of the frame. So we're going to go with that one, highlight it, hit next, right down here at the bottom hit next and then you're going to name it. So I'm just going to name this. Uh, I usually just give it my my name and I'm actually going to do a ballerina painting. So we'll just do that and then I actually just in the title I just give it the same name. But it's totally up to you what you would like to do. In the description, I'm just going to put Ballerina Painting by the Canadian Simmer. And apparently I can't spell. Okay, so that's the only thing you need to do here. You don't need to check this bottom one on the left here where it says yes, clone the base game item. No, I wouldn't do that. Um, that's not what I did when I did it, so I'm not going to do it now. Hit next and everything's finished. So now you're going to hit OK. And you're going to wait for it to load. So once your picture loads, you're not going to really touch anything here on your right side. You'll see this whole list of stuff going down. And what this is, it's just basically telling you like when you go into your game, where you're going to find the item. And decor is already checked off, so I wouldn't even touch that. You can change your price if you want. I'm going to leave it. Then at the top here, you can see where I'm kind of circling. You're going to click textures. And as you can see, everything's all in here. I'm just going to check one thing because sometimes the picture will show up in your stencils. But as you can see, it's not showing that. Your picture is actually showing up on the top on the overlay. So what you want to do is you want to click in that box so it's highlighted. So now you can see that that overlay part's highlighted. Hit edit right on the right hand side right here where I'm circling with my mouse. Circle, circle, circle. Okay, you're going to click edit and another screen's going to pop up. Once that screen pops up, you're going to hit export. And it's going to export the picture. So you can name it whatever you want. I'm just going to give it a number one. And it's going to save in my CC folder. <coughs> Excuse me. So once you... Apparently it didn't save where I wanted it to. Maybe it's on my desktop. Sorry, guys. I am a bit... Yeah, it's on my desktop. So what you do is you're going to go to where you saved the item. I'm going to gra gra drag my screen over here or my window, and I actually saved it to my desktop, so I'm going to find it right here. So I'm going to right click on it, 
I'm going to open with my Adobe Photoshop and it's going to open in my Photoshop. So now I'm actually just going to make my screen a bit bigger. Now this is where it gets very, very simple. On your bottom right hand corner, right here where I'm circling, you're going to see background. You want to double click that. Hit OK. Then you're going to go up here to your left corner, top, see where I'm circling, and you'll see the little box that looks like dotted lines. It's called the rectangular marquee tool. Make sure that's highlighted. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take your little cursor and you're going to oh so gently go as close to the edge of that picture as you can and you want to make a square around it. Once it's highlighted with the dotted little lines, hit delete and then control D. So that's delete and control D. Now you're going to see that the picture's gone and you're just going to have these little squares. Once that happens, you're going to open your screen where your picture is that you want to use. I'm going to make this screen a little bit smaller. You're going to find the picture that you want to use and I'm actually going to do a ballerina one. And let's do, let's do this one. So I'm going to, sorry guys, I went a little quick. I'm going to drag, I'm going to click with my left mouse button and I'm going to drag the picture over to um, my Photoshop. Once you do that, you'll see that there's an X through it and there's the little squares all the way around the picture. Those are to adjust the size. So I usually go to a corner and I just make it a bit smaller because what you want to do is you want to fit it into that checkered box. So you want to fit it in and then you're going to resize it to fit that box. So just like that. Once you do that and you get it the right size, you're going to hit enter. Now you're going to go back down to your bottom right hand corner and you're going to see the name of the picture and you're going to see the layer zero. You're going to take the name of that picture, you're going to left click and hold it, you're going to drag it underneath the layer. Then you're going to right click on the picture on your right bottom corner there. You're going to go all the way up to the top, see right here what's highlighted and you're going to flatten image. Once that's been completed, you're going to go to file. I usually do a save as and I'm just going to call it number two because you don't really need to name that because you're not going to keep it after. Once that's done, you're going to minimize that screen. Now, you're going to go back to this screen in your Sims, the Sims Resource Workshop, into that little screen that popped up. And when you get there, you're going to hit Import, and it's in your top right corner. You're going to go find the picture that you just did, and you can just double click it, and it's going to put it right in there. So you see how it's been replaced? Then hit Done. And there you go. There is your custom content painting. Now, if this picture comes with different frames, if you can see right here where I'm running the mouse across where it says painting poster pop star, if you click the arrow that pops down, you're gonna get different color frames. I'm just gonna keep the one, but if you wanna delete these, just make sure that that one's highlighted. Make sure you don't delete the one that you already did. And you're just gonna go to this little box right beside it, right here where I'm circling. You're gonna click it and you're gonna hit delete. You're gonna go okay. And you're gonna do that for every added picture. So make sure that one's highlighted. Hit delete. Okay. Same thing. Go down. Hit delete. Okay. So I'm just going to delete all the other frames because I don't want them. I don't want them in my game. I mean, if you wanted to keep them for the other poster, by all means, but I don't really like that other poster. So I'm just going to go with my ballerina one and I'm going to delete it. So now I only have the one the one color frame. I mean you can do this multiple times and have different colored frames for the same picture but for this tutorial I'm only going to do the one. So once that all is completed your picture is actually ready. So you're going to go to file up in your top left corner. You're going to go export and a little thing is going to pop up and all you want to do is go down to the Sims to Sims 3 pack right here and click that. And right here, it's going to save Sims 3 pack and you're going to name your file. So I'm going to put Canadian Simmer slash underscore ballerina painting. And you're going to hit save. Now your export's done. So mine, I do believe, saved to my desktop. So I'm going to minimize this and I'm going to find it right here. So it's all ready to go. You'll have your little Sims 3 symbol or your sims little plumb bob and then to put that into your mods folder you're going to go i'm just going to cut it from the page 
I'm going to go to my Sims 3 folder, which is located in Documents. Under Electronic Arts, you're going to go to Sims 3. And you can put it right into your downloads file. But once you do that, you're still going to need to install it in your game. So when your Sims 3 uh, game pops up and you'll see downloads, you have to go into downloads, highlight the ones you want in your game and hit install and they'll install into your game. And once that's all done, go in game and check it out and make sure that it has uh, worked properly. It took me about three tries to get it, but once I did, I got the hang of it and now I can make custom content paintings for The Sims 3. How exciting. So guys, I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. Hope it was helpful. Leave some comments in the uh, yeah, leave some comments in the video description or in the video underneath the video, I should say. Leave some comments if you like what you've seen. <laughs> I'm all over the place tonight. Uh, anyway, yeah, so hope you enjoyed it. Uh, happy simming. And if you have any questions, let me know. Have a good one, guys. Bye.